Assalamu alaikum sister. How can you become your best version as a Muslima in 2024? Let me tell you, it's more than just improving. It's about a deep spiritual journey that touches every part of your life. With the challenges of today's world, how do we make sure our daily actions match our faith and goals? The stakes are high. It's about shaping our future in this life and the next. So let's go through some tips drawn from Islamic teachings to help you reach your full potential. Are you ready to begin? Part 1. Understand yourself. Starting this journey begins with an important step. Knowing who you are as a Muslimah. Imagine your life as a big picture made of many threads. Now, imagine each of these threads. Your faith, your roles, your dreams, and your challenges. All these threads come together to make a unique picture that is all about you. As a Muslimah, your faith is the base of everything you do, right? Islam shapes your choices, your thoughts, and how you act. It gives you strength when things are unsure and peace in the middle of trouble. But knowing who you are isn't just about your strong points. It's also about seeing the hardships you face. How do you keep up with tradition and also fit into the modern world? How do you keep your beliefs strong in a world that's always changing? These aren't easy questions, but they're key questions. They make you think about your place as a Muslima and how to live your faith for real. Remember, being your best starts with truly understanding yourself and how your faith guides you through life. So, pause and think about who you are. Think about what matters most to you, what you stand for, and how you show your faith in all parts of your life. This thinking is your first step to growing and getting better. You are a Muslima, strong, tough, and full of faith. So keep holding on to who you are, love your faith, and let it lead you as you aim to be your best self. Keep watching as we keep going down this path together. Are you ready for what comes next? Part 2. Integrate your faith with everything. Before we keep going, let's take a moment to think. You've begun to understand more about yourself, seeing how your faith is a big part of who you are as a Muslima. But this journey isn't over yet. It will be a continuous path, filled with times to think, learn, and most importantly, act. So as we go deeper, ask yourself this. How can I use what I've learned to face my challenges and bring my faith into every part of my life even more? Becoming the best version of yourself isn't just about self-reflection. It's also about how you use this knowledge in what you do and how you connect with others. So, are you ready to learn more and take the next steps on this path? Let's go forward together, letting our faith lead us to be our best selves. As this journey goes further, the next step is bringing your faith into every part of your day. Islam isn't just for certain times or places. Islam, it's a way of life that connects with everything you do. From the moment you wake up to the time you go to sleep, your faith can and should guide you. It should be like a compass for decisions, big and small, doesn't matter. So here are four things you can start doing today to be more active with your faith. Morning routine. Start your day with the remembrance of Allah. Before you even get out of bed, take a moment to be thankful for a new day. This simple act sets a tone of gratitude and mindfulness for the hours ahead. And this hadith proves that you should be grateful every day. Ubaidullah ibn Mihsan reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever among you wakes up secure in his property, healthy in his body, and he has his food for the day, it is as if he were given the entire world. Here's the source, Sunan al-Tirmidh, 2346. Daily interactions. Whether it's at home, work, or in your community, every interaction is a chance to reflect your faith. Be kind, honest, and patient. These are not just good qualities. They are teachings of Islam that can transform ordinary moments into acts of worship. Challenges and decisions. When you face a tough decision or a challenge, turn to Salah and make dua for guidance. Seeking Allah's help isn't just about asking for things to go well. It's about feeling connected to a greater wisdom and finding peace in the fact that Allah is the best of planners. Evening reflection. End your day by reflecting on your actions. What did you do well? What could you improve? Make dua for strength and guidance, then plan to make tomorrow even better. Integrating faith into your daily life isn't about making big changes all at once. It's about the small, consistent acts that build a strong foundation. These moments are the ones that bring you closer to Allah and help you grow as a Muslimah. Are you ready to make your faith a more active part of every day? Remember, 
It's the small steps that lead to big changes. Let's take those steps together. Part three, find your community, now. Every day gives you chances to get closer to Allah, the most glorified, the most high, and put your faith into practice. For example, think about when you felt the closest to Allah, the most glorified, the most high today. Was it when you were thankful in the morning, when you were nice to others, or when you looked for his guidance during tough times? Was it in another moment of your day? Then let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to know what the Muslima around the world are experiencing, but now. Our journey in faith isn't just about what we've already done. It's also about what we can do right now. So as we get ready to find more ways to grow and make our faith stronger, think about in which parts of your life you could use more of your Islamic values. Are you ready to keep learning and find other ways to fill your life with your faith and improve? Then stay with me as I keep showing the beauty of a life led by Islam. Moving forward in our journey, let's focus on the importance of community. Islam shows us how valuable it is to be united and support each other as Muslims. This is also called the Ummah. Being in a supportive community means more than just having people around. It's about making connections that lift you up and make your faith stronger. Finding your community. Search for groups nearby or online that like the same things you do and share your beliefs. This could be a study group, a volunteer team, or a club at your mosque. Being in a community makes you feel like you belong to something and provides you a safe place to share and grow. Helping out in your community. Being part of a community also means you should help others. Share what you know, volunteer for community activities, or just listen to someone who needs to talk. Your help makes the community better and full of life. Learning together, a community is full of knowledge and different life stories. Join in conversations, ask questions, and listen to what others have to say. You can learn a lot from the people around you. Also, talking with them will help you understand your faith even better. Staying in touch. It's easy to stay connected with others nowadays. Use social media, chat apps, and online groups to stay in touch with people from your community. These tools let you support each other and share information even if you can't meet them. Building a supportive community is a wonderful way to live out your faith. It means making a group of Muslim sisters who encourage you, push you to be better, and help you grow. As you keep building strong connections with your community, remember that every smile, kind word, and act of help brings you closer to the true meaning of Islam. So are you ready to join and help grow a supportive Islamic community? Together we can reach new heights in our spiritual lives. Let's go forward, together, guided by faith and love. Part four, use your Islamic values. Now, being active in a community that shares your beliefs can massively help your spiritual growth. It gives you support, knowledge, and friendship. So, what comes next? How do you keep these connections strong and make sure our community stays a source of motivation for everyone? As we dive into more ways to improve our faith and our daily lives, consider how you fit into your new community. What can you do better? How can you help your community grow in size, faith, and unity? Keep watching as we're about to go deeper into following Islam's teachings with clear steps to bring this idea to life. Are you ready to make a real difference in your community and on your own spiritual path? Let's go ahead, together, with fresh energy and commitment. During your journey towards being the best Muslima you can be, it's important to remember your Islamic values. You should take your Islamic values into account with every decision you make. Also remember, these aren't just big goals. They're simple rules to follow every day, and they'll help you make good choices, big or small. Kindness and compassion. Being kind is a big part of Islam. It means being nice to everyone, even people you don't know. Small acts of kindness can make a big difference in someone's day and bring you blessings. Honesty and integrity. Always tell the truth and be fair in everything you do, whether you're at work, school, or with your family and friends. And it doesn't matter whether telling the truth goes in your favor or against you. You should never lie. So whenever shaitan tempts you to lie, ask yourself this. Would the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, lie? Or would he tell the truth regardless? And let's be honest, we both know he would never lie. So next time you have to make a decision, ask yourself if it aligns with your Muslim values. This will help you do things you can be proud of. Patience 
and perseverance. Life has its ups and downs, but Islam teaches us to be patient and keep going. Whether you're trying to reach a goal or get through a tough time, staying patient and not giving up is a sign of faith. This is called sabr and is one of the key factors of Islam. This is also mentioned in the Quran many times. Here's an example. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 45. And seek help through patience and prayer, and indeed, it is difficult except for the humbly submissive to Allah, gratitude and contentment. Always be happy with what you have and thankful for your blessings. This way of thinking makes you feel at peace and happy with your life. Continuous learning and self-improvement. Islam wants us to keep learning and getting better, not just in religion, but in other areas that can help us and others. It might be hard to use these values in every choice, but it's worth it. And after a while, you'll even get used to it. Every decision that you make based on Islamic principles brings you closer to Allah and makes your life better. Part 5. Increase your faith even more. Every day we're faced with choices both big and small. So remembering to use Islamic values can help us make the best decisions. But there's always more to learn and more ways to grow. So, what's the next step in this journey, you may ask? How can I keep using these values to make even better choices? Stay with me as we look at more ways to live a life full of faith, kindness, and wisdom. Are you ready to keep learning and growing? Let's take the next step together, supporting each other to live our best lives as Muslimas. Here we are at the next step on your path to being the best you can be as a Muslimah. A big part of this journey is making our connection with Allah, the most glorified, the most high, stronger. This can help us in both easy and hard times. Prayer and thinking. Regular prayer is the foundation of a strong bond with Allah. Apart from the five daily prayers, find time every day to reflect, remember Allah, dhikr, and make dua. These quiet moments are for thanking Allah, asking for help, and finding peace. Reading the Quran. The Quran is a holy book that guides us in life. Try to read a little every day. Try to understand what it's saying and think about its lessons. If you can, learn to recite it beautifully. Getting to know the Quran brings you closer to Allah and helps you understand our faith more. Helping others. When we help people who need it, we feel closer to Allah. Islam teaches us to be generous and take care of others. You can help others by giving money giving your time, or just by being nice to someone who's having a tough time, learning more. It's good to keep learning about Islam and the world. Listen to talks, read books, and chat with people who know a lot. Always be open to learning new things about our faith. Praying together. And that Praying and meeting with other Muslimas strengthens our bond with Allah and the Ummah. But also remember that the reward from praying in a congregation is 27 times higher than praying alone. This is what is reported in Sahih al-Bukhari 649. The reward of the congregational prayer is 27 times greater than that of the prayer offered by a person alone. It reminds us that we're part of a big family, the Ummah, with the same beliefs and goals as us. It takes effort to grow our spiritual connection, but it's really worth it. It makes every day more special, full of peace, gratitude, and a clear sense of why we're here. Think about how you can make your bond with Allah, the most glorified, the most high, even stronger. How will you pray with more focus, get closer to the Quran, help others, learn more, and worship with our community? Let's promise to do these things together, helping each other grow in our faith. Are you ready to strengthen your spiritual connection? By doing this as a group, we can learn more about our faith and get closer to Allah. Part 6. Get ready for the challenges. Now you know how to grow as a Muslimah and get closer to your faith. We've talked about how important prayer is, the power of the Quran, being kind, learning more, and the support we get from being together. But now, we're about to face a big challenge. How do we keep our faith strong in a world that tries to pull us away? The hard part isn't just doing the right thing when it's easy to see, but it's keeping our faith when things get tough. When the world gets noisy and tries to push us off our path, that's when we really show how strong our faith is. How do we keep being kind when things are hard? How do we stay honest when lying seems easier? How do we stay patient when everything around us moves so fast? And how do we stay thankful when we always want more? These aren't just questions. They're the big challenges we have to face if we want to live by our Islamic values. 
The challenge is big, but the reward is bigger. And that's why what we choose really matters. Our faith, who we are, and what happens to us in the future are all on the line. Now, you're at a point where you need to get ready to keep your faith strong, no matter what comes your way. So are you ready to take on these challenges with everything you've learned and the support you have? It's going to be tough, but if we do it together, we can live a life full of faith and be the best Muslimas we can be. Last part, your journey will continue. As our time together comes to an end, let's take this as a chance to look back at the amazing changes we've made together. This journey was more than learning. It was about growing as a group, making our faith stronger, and finding the best in ourselves as Muslimas. We've seen how being strong, patient, and trusting Allah, the most glorified, the most high, can show us the right way, even when it's hard. Our faith has helped us through tough times and brought us peace. But what's really special about your journey is not just what you've done, it's about what you're going to do next. Every step has gotten you ready for the future, where, God willing, you can keep growing, learning, and getting closer to Allah. So as we say goodbye, remember that this is just the start. The things you'll learn, the values you hold, and the friends you'll make are gifts that you'll take with you in this life. Let these things guide you, give you strength, and help you make good choices. So, will you bless someone today with the same knowledge you had? Will you help another sister who has the same problem you had before watching this? If you want to help the Ummah and share this valuable knowledge, all you have to do is like the video, comment on what you would like the next video to be about, and share this video with a Muslima who may need it. Let's keep supporting and inspiring each other. We've been on a journey that's made us better. Let's use what we've learned to spread kindness, wisdom, and faith. Until we meet again, keep pushing forward, keep getting better, and always remember how your faith can change your life. Thanks for joining us on this journey. May Allah bless and guide you always.